young generation has a bigger stake in the affairs of our country. And as leaders, let me say, we are very happy that the young generation, Generation Z, Gen Z, as we call them, are now very conscious of the affairs of their state and their country, and they are taking charge. And I want to congratulate them and thank them for taking charge. I thank them because they have transcended our ethnic boundaries and are coming together around issues that touch on their lives, their welfare, and the future of our country. And that is the way to go. Therefore, let me ask those who are concerned within our security agencies, facilitate them and designate a picketing corner for them so that they may picket peacefully and criminals do not infiltrate them. Those who come to loot, those who come to spoil their peaceful demonstrations, allow them to demonstrate peacefully, to express themselves, and those of us who are in parliament and other Kenyans to go on with their work. Here, Wakatihu, he ni ile inaitwa the information age. And in this information age, there is a lot of misinformation and disinformation. I have seen, for instance, people circulating on social media, all oh, this finance bill has provisions that will ensure that our land rates, even those who hold freehold land, will now be levied land rates. And I challenge anyone who can show me which particular clause in the finance bill is charging land rates on land, freehold land, because it is not there. So I also want to caution us as Kenyans, as we engage, as we have this public discourse around the finance bill, let us be cautious that there are those who want to disinform, misinform, with the intent of inciting Kenyans against the finance bill.